Well hello people and welcome back to part 4 of our City Skylines 2 series Eggenborough. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today I want to start introducing some public transport into the city for the first time and ever since we had these dedicated kind of bus upgrade roads I've been really keen to try and implement a BRT or a bus rapid transit service that's going to run through Central Whiskey and eventually beyond maybe link up with another town anyway. But I want to place the college as well today, so we're going to actually move a lot of this industry uh, over the river, which we had some great suggestions for last episode. And also just reworking these power lines, which again, didn't realise I can put them underground. <laughs> we're always forgetting this new functionality. We're going to rework some roads here today, and we'll get started with the build. So the first thing I want to do today is actually have a look at what's going to happen with... I kind of centerpiece here. So we had a great comment last episode that we should actually put the college over here. And I think that's a really good idea. Uh, so let's do a little bit of level terrain. So we changed this a little bit in the start of the episode. I did have a lot of our industry down here. But we're going to relocate that now to the other side of the river. Quite gradually I think. And I think this space here. Uh, if we can centralise it against the end of the couplet in this big pedestrian road. Uh, it's going to be quite a lot of fun I think isn't it. So let's bring our couplet system uh, into the end here now at 180 degrees now that's not perfectly level with the couplet so I think we will redraw this actually let's go for no road guideline here either I'm not looking for perfect grids we're not going to have a vast amount of zoning through this way but that there should be okay and then we should do a curve with a road guideline that should see everyone through and happy fantastic cool so let's go to our development tree and we'll unlock uh, college as a technology I guess and then let's place it here so I definitely want my college centralized right within the middle of this corporate system here but it should be uh, quite a satisfying end I think for the end of the couple and also a really nice feature for the downtown I think it's gonna sit quite nicely there yeah I think we'll enjoy it so I also get some buses going around here today as well but we'll take a look at that in a second uh, I think we also want to do with the pedestrian street. Now we could bring in kind of an elevated sort of network around it. Why don't we explore that possibility together? Uh, let's push our terrain up around the asset. Now we're doing to leave a little bit of a kind of bulge of terrain on the corners because this is going to allow me to do those kind of elevated keys that we're so fond of at the minute. So let's give it a go. Let's bring that down on the ground. Now I imagine these are going to become road at some point because I don't really want this pedestrian pathway where the car parks are. I think that looks a little weird. But let's bring this one out and we want to come up here. So there's essentially no fall in elevation. And then bring that around this side again as well. Now what I do want to do here is make sure that we're snapping to the sides of building. That's going to make it a lot easier to just fully wrap this up with a uh, pedestrian key. And bring this down. Get to 90 degrees and that should be all right there. That does give us that full elevation. I think what we do want to do here now is just redraw these so they spawn as that embanked pathway. Now I think when it's all said and done, as we also experience our very first winter, which is nice, isn't it? On how quickly we're going to get bored of the relentless white. <laughs> it's just giving me flashbacks to Navaria. But um, should we go check out some of our farmland in the winter? Not looking too bad, is it? It's very white, although I imagine we're going to try and skip through the winters as quickly as we can. Because it's just, it's a lot to look at, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Cool, but I really like that, okay. Uh, so we did remove some initial local connections off the road network. That would um, have actually made sense to remain connected. So let's bring this one back into the road. Just on 90 degrees is fine. We've also got pedestrian pathway here. That's coming out from some apartments that can come straight in on 90 degrees and now let's look at a location for where we might want to put our bus station so we did unlock it last episode uh, we need to place the bus depot first of all so why don't we see where we can get this in how about here i almost feel with this asset it's kind of like a, a front entrance for our industrial estate over here i think that's kind of, kind of how I'm going to think of it. We may end up moving this in the future. 
And but that does give us the ability to do buses now. So we could come in and place our own bus station. Which can be a great way with taxi stops and extra platform and electric bus recharging station. I feel like this would be a good spot for that. A kind of like a big downtown bus station right by the college here. I think we will place this in. Uh, let's first of all start configuring how our roads are going to sit around here because this is going to be quite important. Uh, do we want to go for one with median? I think we will. We'll have that through there just so those car parks on the front of the college have access. Now I am aware we're missing the ability to place the college library here uh, just by doing this with the college but I'm not bothered about having this in to be honest. It only increases the chances of graduating, which they're going to graduate anyway. Uh, and then we can also extend it once we decide we need that capacity, so that's going to be okay. Uh, let's also use some of our road tools, and we'll get some nice grass lining going on here. With some tree lining as well, hopefully. There we go, that's not too bad, is it? Really love the centralisation on this asset. Very nice. Uh, and then down this road is where our buses are going to come from. So let's go for... I wonder if we can just get a connection in right here. Really just looking for... Do it like that. That's a little weird though, isn't it? That does give us a connection into it. So let's see if we can now accommodate our bus depot. Uh, bus station, sorry. Yeah, we can. We can actually get the bus station right in here. That's uh, very nice if it sits. It fits a moment, isn't it? I think we have that there, kind of opposite this big, I guess what's going to be a bit of a central park space that develops here outside the college. Especially with all the buses coming and going as well. So, speaking of the buses, I'd also love to introduce um, a bus rapid transit system, which I think would be quite a lot of fun if we allow it to flow through the middle of the couplet system. So I definitely want to see if we can try this. Um, if we were to come through spaces like this, how's it going to behave? Let's have a little check. So line it up right in the middle of those grids. You see there is there is a sweet spot where it will accept it. And if we draw in the bus pathway first, then reintroduce the pedestrian road. Are we happy with that? Yes, we are. Okay. So we can get around it. So it's going to create these really cute little crossings where we can have um, the buses stop. I think that's going to be really cool, isn't it? I think I'm on board with that as a general kind of bus configuration here. So let's also line up where this is going to go on our roads. So where are you going to join back in? Send bus lines through to this way. We'll also have them on this side of the road too, because I imagine they're going to also leave this way too. You're quite annoying that you don't come down onto this road. I'm not sure why that is, but isn't that just a bug that should be connecting the bus lanes together, shouldn't it? it does it on this side not on the other one. So let's move our double public transport lane uh, right up through the middle of our couple system now and we'll probably take it up to where our schools are and then once we come to develop this side of the town in however many episodes we can already have some bus stuff prepared. So I think what we'll do out the front of the, the uh, college here, rather than run the BRT system right up to the top, is we will look where the buses come into the depot, which is about here, isn't it? Let's line that up. Let's go for, yeah, pretty much there actually. So let's, my old grid snap, we just want angle here. 
but they can come straight across. Let's also remove the bus lanes from that section. And then this can come over here, I guess. Maybe we want a nicer curve coming out of here. Something like that, I think, should be more appropriate, maybe. Yeah, that's a bit nicer, isn't it? Cool. So this should be a really interesting system. Let's go ahead and place some... Uh, so we do want a shelter or a stop sign here. We can't place a shelter on just these roads. Which is okay, I guess. We'll just have to place the regular stops instead. Let's do that. So we're going to have some places, uh, some buses stopping at the station, of course. Uh, then we'll send our first stop to stop here. Now, this is the pedestrian crossing, isn't it? Yeah, so let's have a stop. I guess just either side of it might be quite nice. That'll be good. Uh, then again, we'll stop over this side on the road this time using the shelters. So we'll have some there. And then we'll have more stop signs. One at the graveyard here. Interesting to see a taxi using our bus road there, which is all right, I suppose. Bus and taxi lanes, I guess. Uh, yeah, so they can stop there. And then they can also stop here, which is a little bit of a temporary turnaround point right now. Uh, this is just here once we've come to develop this space over this way, which I'm not sure what that looks like yet. But probably lots of large parks using our development points here. Let's go ahead and grab large parks, actually. Uh, and we'll probably, yeah, probably do some, like, football fields and stuff over this way. But uh, we'll get there when we get to it. But for right now, that does give us the excuse to have a couple of buses knocking around. So I'd love to maintain this one system. So let's get that running. So we're going to stop at this first stand right here. And then how are you going to enter? I'm going to make sure you're coming down the right way. Yeah, so he leaves and then comes back onto the BRT system. Then, yeah, that's fine. That's fine as well. And come around there. Stop here again and then just mirror those stops on the way back. I am tremendously excited to see this in action. <laughs> really, this is going to... That looked pretty cool. Cool. And then there goes that first bus line. So we're going to name this the Whiskey BRT. Thank you for all your name suggestions as well on the names of the rivers. We will get around, we will get around to naming those. But uh, when we come to actually work on the waterways is when we'll name them. So we've now got the Whiskey BRT. Should we go for like a whiskey colour, I guess, would be more appropriate. This whiskey is kind of like a goldy brown is it? I don't, I'm really not a whiskey person so I have to excuse my whiskey ignorance on this occasion I think. So that's going to give us one bus route. What I'd love to do now is set up, set up a, a intercity bus line. So let's create a stop there. We're going to come all the way to the end to create a stop at Ashingdon. And then they're going to come all the way back through and they're going to stop. And this becomes the was it Ashington, was it? I've already forgotten. Ashington? I can't remember. It's Ashington now. And this thing can become the Ashington Intercity Bus. So hopefully that's going to bring a few tourists off the map for us. Now we could come through and do some further bus lines through this way, but I'm pretty sure this area here is going to change quite dramatically when we come to develop this area. So I think for right now, just dropping in a couple of bus lines and intercity one-on-one -on -one to serve the BRT would be great. Uh, we did also mention last episode, didn't we, that we'd love to have... I guess I can't place these on... I know we can place them on highway roads, which is interesting, I think. I want to do a bit of a configuration of some of these lanes here too. Uh, which we'll do today while we're on the subject of it. Uh, yeah, so let's bring a bus route into the industrial area. We'll have one this side and one that side. Uh, we'll also have one, I guess not really by the farms, in the hamlet would definitely make more sense, I think. So let's go, we we'll have to go for a small one here, won't we? Just a regular bus stop sign. Uh, just, I guess on the main street outside that commercial would be a good spot for a bus. And then we'll also have it stop, I guess, stopping by farms wouldn't be a bad idea. People will work there, I guess. 
Okay, that should be enough for me. Uh, then we'll go ahead and set up another line here. So let's have this one. And you're going to come drop people off at work, stopping at the port. You're then going to go up to Caleb, stopping there. Then back down here, back down the dual carriageway. And then into the bus stop again. And again, we'll keep on top of naming these. It just makes them a lot easier to audit whenever you need to come in and do a bit of bus admin. And this will be the whiskey to Caleb via port. Just so we know what bus that one's going to be. And we'll change up some colors here as well. Go for an orange and a purple. Cool. So, moment of truth. Let's now have a look at our little bus system moving around here. See if we can wait for a, one of them to stop. Yep, they're all still slowly filtering out, I take it. There's already people waiting for it as well. How special. Here comes one of them right now, I think. Here he goes. Gonna stop and get on. Absolutely fabulous. Let's say let's follow his journey through the town, shall we? I really found in Cities 2 that the need for public transport is a lot less intense than it is in Cities 1. For example, like in Cities 1, by episode 4 or 5, we'd be looking at trams already, wouldn't we? But not in Cities 2. I feel like it's a, a much slower progression in this game than it is the first. There we go. So we're going to let some of the people on who are just sat in that little bus stand there. That's very cute. I really wish the uh, bus line here would cut across it back into the BRT. That would be really sweet. There's a few people getting off there as well, isn't there? Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> um, okay, let's amend this. Uh, so to fix this, we want to add a waypoint in. So you can see if it goes off on a bit of road you don't want it to go to, uh, it will say drag a route to insert a waypoint. We just want to do that here. So a waypoint's not a stop, it's just a bit of the line the bus has to follow. So if they're coming off the BRT system like that, if you want to implement something similar, that'll be why. And there they go. It's not the busiest thing in the world right now, which is acceptable, I think. I'm not expecting it to be kind of super popular. But um, I certainly think some parks and whatnot would uh, go a long way in getting this to be a little bit busier. So we did just unlock some large parks, didn't we? So let's have a look at our large city park. I love one of these around here. Directly opposite the bus station sounds like a good spot for a park, I think, doesn't it? We've also got a lot of low density residential demand as well today, which we could do with expanding. The one thing that I am quite sad is gone now is how many people have come through public transport in a week. That figure's no longer shown, is it? Which is a little bit of a shame. There is an absolute bus orgy happening over here. Are you alright boys? What's going on? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear me. I guess too many buses came at once. Okay, we'll see if they filter out at all, but we'll just have to wait and see for that, I think, won't we? Um, I'd love some little parks up and against the college here, so why don't we grab a... Can we do... Can you do a small plaza for me? And then, do we really need this connection here for right now? Possibly not. If we to place one here, we can get some nice centralization going on. So I believe there is a couple variants of these little plazas. We can't change them right now. But, which one do we prefer? I think this one here is the one I want. So let's replace this one again a couple of times. Hopefully we'll get it in. That is the same fountain, but it's a different tile texture, isn't it? Which I don't particularly mind, to be honest. I think that's okay. I think I'll certainly enjoy the two plazas out front of the college here as well. Uh, which we should have a fair few people coming in. Yeah, I can see there's 23. Yeah, we're actually still needing capacity for college, which could be a good shout to go ahead and upgrade this already with its capacity, but... It's an extra 55 grand a month, I don't really want to pay that just yet. I think it'll be okay. You do want some uneducated workforce in the city, I suppose. I'm wondering now if we can just switch the orientation of our little pedestrian street here. Because of course the nodes just fuse in with each other now, don't they? Look at that. Yes, please, everyone. And I suppose we should also replace these pedestrian pathways here as well with um actual pedestrian road. Might make a little more sense. Do we also want to cut straight across here? I think we possibly do. 
That way we could have another little connection onto the BRT there. So demands at the minute, we've just got low density and industrial, haven't we? Um, which is fine. I think maybe we can afford to up our industrial taxation a little bit. Because they've got quite high demand for that. Let's go for 19 to 24 in production. How are we doing? Got pretty strong surpluses now. Besides petroleum. But I believe the whole import-export thing at the minute with the economy is very heavily bugged. So I'm not going to get too involved in kind of optimising exports and imports just yet. We'll wait till that's fixed. But uh, otherwise, that's a pretty cool little sort of configuration there, isn't it? With the college and the um, the bus station. I'm a big fan of that. I, I do enjoy it, it has to be said. Uh, can we possibly tease in a little bit of commercial by bringing the commercial tax down a touch? That would be helpful. I'd love to have some commercial around here. But uh, I think we do need to do some low density residential. Uh, so let's have a look at some tiles here because we've got some to spend. Let's grab this one. Now we also want to start terraforming this river as well. So we we'll have to grab all of these tiles. That leaves us with five remaining, which is all right. So, yeah, should we do this river now? I think we possibly should, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's go ahead and terraform this river. Let's really open up the mouth of the river here as it starts to converge through. So it's going to look pretty deep and severe at the minute, but this is kind of what I want here. I want more of a kind of a canyon and a gorge, quite a deep, deep cut river to flow through the landscape. Uh, we've got a lot of trees to remove here as well, for which our forest brush will help with that. There we go. Oh, thankfully the snow is already clearing. That makes it a lot easier to see, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, not a huge lover of snow coverage on the ground. Really glad it's warmed up a little bit to melt that snow now. Yeah, let's make sure our river's going to be alright here. So, yeah, we want it to be... This one keep coming down here. There we go. Coming down to emit this one. And soften all this out. Should be okay. Let's hope it meets. And yeah, that's about... It's about the width and the angle I want for it here. That's about what I'm after. And now let's grab ourselves a regular uh, two lane truss bridge for the highway. Get that up, we can have a new bridge crossing the river here. I'll jump have a few crossing the river at some point as well. There's also another one here to bring in, isn't there? But uh, that does leave our river connected now. So imagine we'll do different bits of terraforming and detailing along this as we come to um, actually work on it. But I think one thing I do want to do, kind of a theme that's going to be present down a lot of the river here, is let's increase our brush size. Really soften out those banks. Is um, going to be a bit of a spruce forest that lines it just like we did at the beginning. So let's go ahead onto our vegetation brush. We will grab a spruce. Grab a quite a high strength here too. And then just run it. Maybe on a touch lower brush size than that. All on the banks. Want it to be quite heavily forested. Let's have that going. I'm just going to bring the train line down here as well at some point. Kind of a parallel with the river. Uh, which will be quite a fun little build I think. Oaks and spruces. Get looking quite nice. But this forestry area probably needs to be uh, moved a little bit now, doesn't it? Looks, looks so crap, the forestry. <laughs> really don't like it. Yeah, hopefully that's going to get a patch to just improve the look of it at some point. Do you feel like the specialised industries do need a bit of work? Along with lots of other stuff as well. Cool. That should be decent there. I'm happy with that now. Um, now we can just satisfy some demands over here. I think let's go ahead and grab... Just some EU low density. Again, this can all sit here. Relatively large houses. We also got Pop Music Mansion as well. Cool, this is another signature building, isn't it? Low density residential one. 
So yeah, we won't have this here. What does it actually look like? The European one? Kind of looks like a fancy ranch house, doesn't it, if anything? Um, possibly one to place over in the farm area, actually. Maybe like somewhere over here. Can we grab a little alleyway road for this? And let's go... I don't know. Where do, we, where, where, where do we want this? Maybe maybe here? Something like that. And then maybe we can do like a little sort of fancy tree lining around it. Maybe some palavan pines perhaps. It's going to be quite fun to think experimenting with all these new signature buildings. Finding out the best ways to kind of use them and repurpose them. But I think there's a little ranch house repurposing right for that signature building. They're going to settle in quite nicely with the farms isn't it? Really nicely. I'm happy with that. Cool. We'll have that there then. I did notice we had the other one as well, didn't we? Um, yeah, this one here. So this gives plus three well-being. There to go square. And it's kind of a, a nicer looking unique, isn't it? Uh, where could we possibly put you? Um, I'd love to have you facing out onto my sort of plaza. Or oh, not plaza, I guess there. Transport hub, should we just have it there? But that's gonna be okay, isn't it? We'll have another unit build in here. We'll also got this other one here as well, don't forget to. Anyway, let's have a look at what the patrons have been up to. So Joshua is now working for Onshore, um, which is quite convenient because Josh is a coast guard in real life, so that's really cool that he's working there now. Oh and Josh has had a baby as well. He's given well he hasn't given birth. <laughs> I'm assuming his wife Irina has. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations, Josh. Josh has had a child. Steve Goodwin has left Chloe Harrington. Sorry, mate, didn't last too long, did it? Cino has also had a child. How wonderful. Met Megan Higgins in November and has already had a baby with her. Things are moving quickly for Casino and Megan. Rich hasn't done anything. <laughs> Rich is still working at the pharmacy. Ross Hicks has found his special one, Nigel Carpenter. How wonderful. It was really nice. That is a brutal tweet from Chris, isn't it? Maybe you're right, Anna Miller, but this isn't the right time for us. I'm so... <laughs> Even hashtag sad, what a douchebag. Imagine hashtagging your emotion if you broke up with someone on Twitter. Horrendous. Uh, Dominic hasn't done much. G has moved into a new property. Also working at the pharmacy as well. Uh, Norman hasn't been up to much either. And Sarah Ducky also hasn't been up to much. We're also going to name some more patrons as well, based on the longevity of you guys. So, Jiba is going to join the people living in Edinburgh. Thank you so much for all your support, Jiba. Really appreciate you. We've also got Spartan Angel, who has been a very, very long time supporter of the channel. Thank you so much for all your support, Spartan. Really appreciate you, buddy. And then, last stable on today, uh, Jeff, my best one of our very long time Patreon supporters. Thank you for all your support, guys. And that'll do it for right now. We'll wait till a few of the patrons die because it's getting a little bit crowded <laughs> before we add some more people in. But nice to check in on them again, of course, as always. Like, all the people waiting for the taxis here as well. Taxi stand seems to be busy in the bus, don't they? Which is interesting. I just have to wait and see how that turns out. How many people are waiting for the buses now? Yeah, there's a few. There's a few more bods starting to mill around here, isn't there? It's starting to come in slowly but surely. Which is nice, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, let's do some detailing. Uh, I'm going to just do some road time lapse up here to expand these generic suburban frames in around the couplet. Uh, just so we can satisfy some of this demand because we need low density res. Uh, and then some trees around here, some more parks, some pathways, and perhaps a bit of tree lining for our BRT system here. But otherwise, just generally tidy the area up. The thing as well, we're going to do kind of a thick forest line down here in the riverbank. Then that'd be really cool to have like really dense forest and then move up to the city. I think that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? I don't think I want to have buildings down here. I don't know, we can always change it though. So otherwise, let's do a little bit of detailing. And then we'll be right back.
then just as we're about to start wrapping things up here we have actually hit the seventh milestone of tiny town uh, which gives us a bunch more stuff to unlock uh, not too much here we can do some ore mining now as well which gives us the excuse to go set that town up finally i can now start extracting some ore then the next milestone we'll get some high density which will be fun to start getting in some taller buildings uh, into the city i think won't it uh, but either way we have added on the extension wing onto our college now just so it sits a little wider and then we did have the demand for it too so just bit the bullet and decided to get the extension for it and i really like how the college has sat here uh, lots of parks and really fun interesting space uh, dotted around here and again this whole kind of area is going to function as a really nice kind of bit of open green space especially once we actually develop downtown properly with high density zoning and get some towers in these spaces here because it's all very kind of low to mid-rise at the minute isn't it which i don't mind i definitely don't want like a manhattan style skyline here considering we're playing in the european build i would like some skyscrapers at least so i think this green space is going to really uh, pop when those towers do come in uh, tennis courts and pathways basically around all the edge of the buildings uh, and it's nice to see them getting used as well fun to see people walking around etc uh, pedestrian pathways linking people back in two as well at uh, the brt system uh, we will uh, have a look at our public transport overlay shall we while we're here so we're getting 1800 citizens a month using the buses uh, let's have a look at those bus lines uh, with the whiskey to Kayla by the port line the most busy and then the whiskey uh, brt also getting a decent amount of use as well and we did actually draw in um, another bus line uh, heading down here just as a temporary fix to see if we could get some people using it you can see them now they're just running through this residential area and this has now expanded also just kind of smoothed out the terrain here a little bit as well so it went uphill a little more gradually and this does also connect over into here so we do actually have a uh, connection into this couplet system now so hopefully that's going to start getting a little more use as people come down here and we begin to develop the town out this side i'm not exactly sure how large we're going to make whiskey and um, it's probably going to extend up until here at least i want to develop another highway interchange here at some point too and we also want to redevelop this interchange as well and actually knock it all through so we can start building this side of the highway as well there's a lot to do. <laughs> We've got a lot of plans for this city, so I hope you are enjoying it, of course. And yeah, really happy to see um, a BRT system implemented in vanilla. Um, this little bus-only road was something I felt was uh, sorely missing from Cities 1. I would have loved to have done some stuff like this away from actually using bus pedestrian roads. Uh, I think definitely still wants to be tweaked, doesn't it? I'd love to see this paint continue across the junction. Um, hopefully that's going to be patched at some point you imagine that is supposed to be behaving like that but uh, people are using the buses and then distributing across all the little local path networks that we've brought in uh, over the last four episodes so it's really satisfying to see it all kind of start to come together and to get used and we'll do a much more uh, kind of custom bus plaza out here once we develop this i guess what could possibly end up being a town center maybe we can put the city hall out here uh kind of a bit more of a open recreational green space it might be quite a lot of fun but I uh, really love the way this all comes together. Uh, got our buses waiting here now and then you kind of meander around into this green space here and it all just looks up to that big college over there and it's all very exciting isn't it? It looks really sweet. I'm super happy with it. Also threw in a car park here as well. And I think next episode we'll possibly have a play at looking with some of the policies here too. Maybe do, um, I guess we could do it now while we're here actually. We could do the roadside parking fee for Central Whiskey. And just say, you know, let's make that $20 to park on the roads. Well expensive, but then we'll make our car parks at half that price. So we've got $10 here. And there's another one over here for $10. So there is definitely alternative cheaper parking available for them. And um, we'll just see if indeed they actually choose to make use of that. But otherwise, it's yes please for 20 quid a car <laughs> to park in such a whiskey, which I'm alright with. Uh, that should be pretty cool. And then we did also drop in the welfare office during the d time time-lapse as well. I just went ahead and unlocked this. And again, we'll just have this as part of our major downtown. Uh, in and around those towers, indeed, once they do come over here. And I think we are going to bring a bridge uh, off to cross over this side to eventually link up with something over here. But again, I have no idea what's going to lie over there yet. Right, guys, but otherwise, it is going to do it for today. Let's thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments, and shares below really do help me out. Equal so much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really happy getting our first buses into the city today and a big fan of this BRT system. 
I'm really looking forward to expanding that out as Whiskey kind of grows westward toward the mountains. It should be a lot of fun to keep playing with some buses, I think. The city at the minute it just has insatiable low density residential demand, so we definitely need to do something about that next episode. Maybe have a look at some more services or different education to try and change things up. So we'll have a look at how that develops. Massive thanks for all support on the channel recently. Um, we hit 90k subs this week and it's just insane to see all the numbers and the love and the comments. I'm glad you are uh, enjoying our CS2 series, despite the fact the game is still experiencing some pretty hefty issues at the minute. Hopefully it's not going to be too long before we get another patch that at least stabilises some of the things that need to be sorted right now. Otherwise, please enjoy some cinematics of Edinburgh. Massive shout out to all the patrons supporting the channel as well. And a special roll call to Felix Wilkinson. Otherwise, let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.